Did you realize Thanksgiving is two weeks from today? Well, with the holiday season right around the corner, many people in the River Region may face difficult times after losing their jobs. News Channel 6's Wes Cooper joins us live in the newsroom tonight. And Wes, these difficult times we're talking about all have to do with the Mox plant closing. Yeah, Jenny, for some, people losing their job at the Mix Oxide Fuel Fabrication Facility will be challenging. But at the American Nuclear Society meeting tonight, one employee tells me he's looking at the silver lining during this foreseen time. When I first got here, people were saying any day it could shut down. News Channel 6 first reported last month the MOX facility at the Savannah River site would be shut down effective immediately. After spending almost two years on the job, today nuclear safety engineer Michael Fendler received his pink slip. We got our warning letter today. Unfortunately, a lot of us were very disappointed. Uh, we kind of expected it to happen. The completion of the MOX facility to convert nuclear grade plutonium into safe fuel to power homes no longer a reality. Are you kind of disappointed? I'm very disappointed. The MOX was the first step in reprocessing for the country. Um, nuclear reprocessing is, you know, a multi billion dollar industry, and we're well behind uh, pretty much every other nuclear developed country in the world on reprocessing, and MOX was the first step. According to the Department of Energy, the MOX project is costing taxpayers more than $1 million a day and is about three decades behind schedule. So the DOE pulled the plug. As for the future for the MOX facility, Savannah River Watch director Tom Clements recently told News Channel 6 that there is discussion about it being turned into a plutonium bomb facility. But that is a long road ahead. So seeing another one of the titans fall, um, it's definitely a blow. It's something that we'll have to recover from the next couple of years and hopefully decades. But I think as a nation, people understand the nuclear is inevitable. Uh, you know, yeah. we are the future of clean energy in the country. Michael Findler added, fortunately, many labs across the country are looking for young nuclear safety engineers, and he's hungry. Jenny?